Hi guys, it's October here. Your Thursday's host for witchcrafting. Sorry, this is super duper duper late. I've had an extremely hectic day and uh, a few things have come up and stuff, so I've not really had five minutes till pretty much like about an hour ago. So, um, this picture here uh, is a frame that was originally five UK pounds that was reduced to three UK pounds in Asda Walmart. Basically what's been done is um, we've taken three of my totem animals, which is the raven, the moth for me, and really actually the butterflies more from my son Ali, because he's resonated with them since he was little. But these two, the um, Raven Dude and the Mothy Moo, which is this guy here, um, are my totem animals. I have got a few other animals that I'm not sure if they are. It took me a while to figure out whether the moth was actually my totem animal or not, but um, I've had them in dreams, um, they come in the house all the time, um, I've done a few videos on them way back. And basically they really hit home with me and resonate with me. Um, so I have got um, these guys all together on my Morgan altar, my big altar in the living room. I've also put um, three charms on the, um, the, the three colours I normally use, red, black and white. I've got like a little mothy dude here. And I've got my little scully... I don't actually know if it's meant to be a crow or a raven, but um, it's it's the imagery that um, I've gone with here as opposed to what it definitely is, because it's hard to tell with charms and pictures and things. Um, and then I've got my little triquitra here. So basically, it, it's not a complicated craft. Um, sorry for the glare, but I've had to put the light on because it's quite dark. Um, it's basically imagery taken online and basically um, simplified down and um, little bits added here and there, little, um, you know, bits and pieces adapted to suit the picture frame, etc. So this is just a little wee craft for today. It's just a little idea for if you... Um, know your totem animals or you're working with particular animals or insects or birds or anything like that um, it's just a way of incorporating things into your sacred space or altar um, you know to um, help for the connect or just have that represent representation there of the animals that you feel resonate with you so I hope you guys enjoyed lots of love and blessed be bye